Good morning, everybody. Today is May 11th, 2020. It's an odd day. Periods 1, 3, and 5. Today, we're going to do an experiment, and it's very important that you watch this video to the very end so you get every part. That's the only way you can finish the assignment. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So, what we're going to do today, we need the following pieces of equipment. This is our triple beam balance, which you should be familiar with from when we did the metric system. This is a thermometer. You should also be familiar with that. And then I have a beaker filled with ice. So what we're going to do today is measure what happens to ice as it melts. And you're going to have to answer some questions on that. Now's a good time to start filling out our paperwork. So we're going to start with the experiment. It's going to be called, What Happens? when ice melts the materials I just listed so you should have no problem so the first one was a triple beam balance second one was a thermometer third one was a beaker with ice now is also a good time to make your prediction. What do you think is going to happen to the ice? What will happen to the temperature? You can write that here. What will happen to the mass? Write that in this box. And lastly, what will happen to the ice? So, the first thing I'm going to do is weigh our cup of ice. Perfect. Come check it out. Look at the scale. What do you see? If you got 579.5 grams, you nailed it. Now that we've used the triple beam balance to make that measurement, we need to figure out what the temperature of the ice is. So I'm gonna move this to the side. We're gonna use that later. And let's see what the temperature is right now. All right, we have a temperature. I'm gonna show you what it is. What do you read on the thermometer? You should see something like zero degrees. What unit will it be in? We just had our first two measurements, but where are we gonna put them? So, in this box where it says data, this is where we're going to put our information. But we don't have anything there, so let's start figuring out where we need to put information. So, the first thing we want to know is the time. Second thing is the mass. Third is the temperature. Next is what happened. And the last thing is in this step, was it a physical or chemical change? So for the time, we're gonna put, for the time, we're gonna put beginning. Our mass was 579.5, and hopefully you got there from our metric system, grams. Our temperature was zero, zero degrees Celsius. What did you see happen? What did you observe? I observed a beaker of ice. Did we see any change happening? Not yet. All right, let's move on. Now that we have our first measurement, we're going to wait 30 minutes and do it again and see what has happened. So stay tuned. It'll be quick. All right, that was a quick 30 minutes. Let's check in with our thermometer and see what temperature we're at now. What do you see this time? I see 5 degrees. But again, what unit? Nice! Now that we have measured the temperature, 
we need to measure it with the triple beam balance again. So let's do that real quick. Take a close look. Has anything changed? I still read 579.5 grams. We finished our second recordation of data. So I'm going to put middle for our time. And I think you guys can fill out the rest. Now that we have our second measurement, we're going to wait another 30 minutes, but it'll go by like that. I told you that 30 minutes would go by so fast. So let's start off by measuring this time. Perfect. Let's check it out. Now what do you see? It still looks like 579.5 grams to me. Now that it's been an hour since we first started this experiment, let's see what our temperature is. This is our last temperature reading. What do you see? I see 8 degrees. What unit? We just finished our last measurement, so the time is going to be end and you should be able to figure out what these last four boxes are. And then once you've done that, I want you to look at your predictions, and I want you to look at the data, and I want you to come up with one claim evidence reasoning that you can support using your data from this experiment. I know you guys can do it. If you have any questions, email me. Adios.